morning. Hello and good morning. Rachel here from Nutrition in Bloom. And today we are going to be talking about some advice that you may have received previously from a very well-meaning friend or family member, but the advice just doesn't go according to plan. Um, and I'm gonna explain why this advice is not going to be the best and what you can do instead. Before I begin, I want to welcome you here if you are new. It has been a couple of weeks since I have recorded a video. I have been getting in the back to school mode with my kiddos. Uh, my older daughter, she started at a new school this year. She's in first grade and my youngest is in her last year of preschool and today was her first day. So that was really nice to have that. Have that and have um, hopefully what will be a nice routine. So I want to talk about the advice of, um, that you may have gotten. Um, and let me know if this sounds familiar. Um, oh, if your child is hungry enough, she'll eat, or he is not going to starve. Just, you know, hold off or just keep trying. They will eat eventually. And this advice a lot of times comes from somebody who, um, comes to somebody who might have a child who's selective or picky at home and somebody is telling you, you know, just don't give in to your child. Just keep trying. Just they're, they're going to eat. And I am here to tell you that it's not true for a lot of kids. A lot of kids will starve themselves or will not eat. And there's so many different reasons why that might happen. I'm not going to go into that that in this video. I'll go into that maybe a little further in another video, but there might be something sensory going on. There might be some kind of rigid behavior going on. Um, there might be fears going on, might be coupled with some sensory stuff. There's all of these reasons that come from a child becoming more selective. There's behavior things. There's um, this idea of them wanting to exert their independence when it comes to food. So whatever the reason may be, I don't recommend just letting them starve and not, not starve, that's a very harsh word, but just waiting for them to start eating. So if we don't wanna be saying to them, um, no, you can't eat or no, um, we're not giving in to you, what do we do instead? Now. This doesn't mean that we are a short order cook and we make them whatever they want. There is absolutely a happy medium here, which can be sometimes a little tricky and hard to maneuver. So if you are new here and you have not heard me talk about the division of responsibility, I'm just gonna share it real quickly right now. There's a pediatric dietitian and family therapist, Ellen Satter, and she says that Parents or caregivers are responsible for the what, the when, and the where of feeding, and children are responsible for the how much and whether of eating. So what that means is as parents and caregivers, we provide the food, we set a time and a place, and we allow our kids to decide to eat it or not. However, when it comes to the what of feeding, I always, and Ellen Satter does this too, I always encourage families to offer at least one food that you know your child likes. So what does that mean? How do you figure that out? If you have not downloaded my four steps to help your child try new food guide, it's a mouthful, I highly recommend you do that. I will link to that in the notes here, in the show notes here. But um, create a list. Create a list of their foods that they typically eat, foods that they sometimes eat, and maybe foods that they just never eat at all. Or maybe, and then maybe foods that they used to eat. And what you're going to do with that is with that list, you are going to make sure you're always providing something from that column of foods that you know that they like. You always want to give them that opportunity to eat at mealtimes, whether that's bread and rice or rice or pasta or fruit. Um, and I just say these foods because these are typically the foods that kids, they're the typical kid foods, right? But even if your child isn't eating those typical kid foods and, you know, 
typical, what's typical, right? Um, even if your child is not eating those foods, you can still, I always want to make sure there's something provided that you know that they can eat so that they aren't going to be offered this brand new dinner. Now, if they don't eat those foods, that's okay. Um, but that's where, that's this idea of where this is coming from. The other piece to this is to offer regular meals and snacks. So typically for younger kids, they are typically um, needing to eat every maybe two to three hours. Older kids might be three to four hours. Um, it, it, it depends on the child, absolutely. But having those regular snack and mealtime intervals can be very helpful in terms of giving your child those opportunities to eat and at those opportunities to offer something you know that they like. It might mean that at lunch, they don't eat a whole lot. They might eat more at a morning snack or an afternoon snack. And that is absolutely okay. Okay, when I work with families, we look at their how they're eating over a week or over a few days. It's never about one single meal or one single day. So, those are just a few ideas to get you started here. Of course, there is much, much more that we can dive into, but that's where I want you to start thinking about why this is the, if they're hungry enough, they'll eat advice, isn't the best advice, and what to do instead, okay? So we wanna be offering those meals and snacks at those regular intervals and making sure we're offering something that's familiar, that they like, that they've eaten in the past. It might not be their favorite, favorite food, but we can still offer what they like. We can also eat with our child. Having family meals, I know it's talked about a lot, but when you can, eating with your child is a nice way to also encourage them to eat together, uh, to encourage that eating habit. Okay, that is all I have for you today. If you have questions on this or, you know, you're like, I've tried this, it's not working, let me know and let's troubleshoot together. My online course, Conquering Mealtimes, is open for enrollment. And in this, I go through so much when it comes to feeding to help you literally conquer mealtimes. If you have questions, again, let me know. Uh, thank you for joining me and I hope to be in touch with you soon. Have a great day.